And they say that it was Mako. They hollering, Mako, Kevin, Mako, Kevin. And terror turned to heartbreak. And see, that child mom would get on her knees in the middle of that street. And she prayed. The echoes of celebration and remembrance were abruptly silenced in a DC neighborhood on a fateful Father's Day in 2023. It had coincided with the Juneteenth weekend, and amidst the backdrop of historical significance and familial bonds, tragedy struck one family twice. The holiday weekend was a particularly alarming one in D.C. as 11 people were wounded and four lost their lives. 17-year-old Kevin Mason and 15-year-old Demarcus Pinckney, two first cousins, stood in front of the building in the 2700 block of Langston Place Southeast where they lived. A vehicle drove by and suddenly an assailant or assailants with no regard for human life riddled the place with discharges. According to a press release, 7th District officers promptly responded to the distressing reports of a discharge incident. As they arrived, they discovered a wounded teenage boy and an adult male both desperately clinging to life. DC Fire and Emergency Medical Services responded to the scene and transported them to area hospitals for treatment, but sadly, both teens succumbed to their injuries. Haunting reminders of the vial were evident. A visible discharge hole marred the glass, revealing the terrifying impact of the attack. The frames that once held intact panes of glass now stood empty, their contents shattered and replaced by disheveled blinds and owed to lives forever altered. Three days later, Investigators announced that they were looking into the possibility that the two cousins losing their lives may be linked to a fight on social media. As of this video, no further details have been shared. In the wake of the tragic incident, Patricia Denson, a resident of the neighborhood, shared her heartfelt sentiments with local news stations. Speaking about Kevin and Demarcus, she described them as model individuals, good-natured young men who were actively involved in afternoon programs and stared clear of trouble. In the days following and as news spread, neighbors and friends gathered at the scene, offering their support and solidarity to the grieving family. While Demarcus's mother chose to remain off camera, she expressed her dedication to ensuring her son's safety and doing everything in her power to guide him on the right path. Bachelor, another member of the community, agreed that it came naturally to appreciate the presence of the teens and their character. Like a machine gun. For Patricia Denson, hearing those gunshots was terrifying, but then... And next thing I know, the policeman pulls up and I come outside, come to the door, and they say that it was Marco. They hollering, Marco, Kevin, Marco, Kevin. And terror turned to heartbreak. And see, that child mom would get on her knees in the middle of that street. And she prayed, and I think as she was praying, her child's spirit was sore. Police say the two teens, Kevin Mason and DeMarco Pinckney, were shot to death Sunday night here on Langston Place Southeast. Monday, police cars monitored the area as family members, friends, and neighbors gathered to grieve. Here that these, these young men specifically were shot by a drive-by. The screams, like, I, I, I couldn't take it. Joanna Hardy was a mentor to Kevin through her organization Guns Down Friday. He wanted to change his community. She says the boys were good kids, kind and loving. These were like our community leaders, they were up next in the neighborhood to create change. What the community need to understand is why guns are getting in these kids' hands. Prayer seem not to be working for this situation. For son, it's just, it's heartbreaking, man. Honestly, it's an emotional roller coaster, you know? Yeah, it's traumatic. Alicia Batchelor, the mother of a one-year-old girl herself, sharing in the grief of two sisters who each lost their sons on Sunday night. Just a week prior to the heartbreaking incident, DeMarcus had completed his ninth grade year at Digital Pioneers Academy, a charter school in Southeast DC. 
the founder of the school, Mache Ashton, expressed profound sorrow and extended heartfelt thoughts and condolences to all those affected by the tragedy. Speaking about Pinkney, she highlighted his intellect, inquisitive nature, and impressive athletic abilities. It was revealed that the 15-year-old had been an esteemed member of the school's inaugural football team with promising prospects for the future. In fact, only a week earlier, he had attended a significant event where the commanders announced their support for the football program, igniting hope and enthusiasm among the students. Tragically, the academic year of 2022-2023 had been stained by repeated tragic incidents for both students and faculty at DPA. Just a few months earlier in October and November of 2022, two of the Marcus's classmates lost their lives to weapon fire. In January 2023, an English teacher, 31-year-old Keenan Anderson, tragically passed away during a visit to Los Angeles following an altercation with a police officer after a traffic accident. These consecutive calamities casted a heavy shadow over the school community, leaving them grappling with grief and the weight of the unimaginable losses. It's a family torn apart, you know, by gun violence. And it's something that's real heavy in this area, and I fear for my life, my child's life, my community's life. We spoke with DeMarco's mom, who was too upset to be interviewed on camera, but she told us she tried to do everything right to make sure her son stayed safe. Bachelor says it wasn't hard to like both of these teens. They knock on my door, take out my trash for me, I give them a couple of dollars or whatever. So, you know, I'm fond of all the kids here. And because of that, safety, protection, and police presence, all things that this community says it needs. And you can't even bring your child out to play on the porch or just get some fresh air because you have to worry about whether you're moving fast enough for a gun bullet. We need, um, we need people to hear us, hear our cries, hear our voices. Inhumane, honestly, you know, to be in a situation like this. Back in August 2022, when DeMarcus was just 14 years old, he eagerly participated in the Be Empowered Chess Tournament held at Second Baptist Church. Filled with ambition, he expressed his aspirations of honing his chess skills and climbing up the ranks. He found joy and growth in the game, frequently engaging in matches against friends and online opponents. Chess became a transformative experience for the team, teaching him the value of clear thinking and strategic planning, both on and off the board. It shaped his mindset and influenced how he approached various aspects of his life. Aside from chess, DeMarcus is fondly remembered as a budding designer. He possessed a creative spirit and enjoyed crafting his own t-shirts. Senior Demarcus Pinckney, a football player on the inaugural team at Digital Pioneers Academy, and his cousin, 18-year-old Kevin Mason. Both teenagers were in after-school programs and stayed out of trouble, according to neighbors and friends who came here to offer their support. Pinckney just completed ninth grade at Digital Pioneers Academy in Southeast last week. The school founder said in part, Marcos was a devoted friend and beloved member of our school community. We will miss him dearly. Kevin Mason was remembered as a vibrant teen, somewhat as an entertainer, who had big dreams and passion for his community. Less than two years before his untimely passing, he had expressed thoughts during an interview for an article, emphasizing the need for more community centers, playgrounds, and engaging activities in his neighborhood. He believed that implementing such resources would make a significant difference and greatly benefit the community. In his insightful words, Kevin acknowledged the challenges the youth faced in gaining support from some adults. He understood that it would take time and effort to convince them to believe in the ideas and aspirations of the younger generation. Undeterred by this, Kevin shared his own personal aspirations of being a catalyst for change. He envisioned himself playing a role in implementing the very initiatives he spoke of, striving to make a positive impact and shape a brighter future for his community. Through a review of social media, it became evident that the teens came from a loving and tight-knit family. If you wish to provide a monetary contribution to the family during this difficult time, the information on how to do so is displayed on the screen. As of this video, 
Authorities have not made any announcements regarding arrests or suspects in connection with the incident. A reward of up to $50,000 is being offered for information leading to the identification and apprehension of those responsible. You can contact the police at 202-727-9099. Alternatively, anonymous tips can be submitted to the department's text tip line by sending a text message to 50411. May the family and friends of Demarcus and Kevin find solace in the happy memories and may their souls rest in perpetual peace. Thank you.